Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. I've just flipped the deck over. That was weird. <laughs> this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. I thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing. That helps out this channel a ton. All right, and if you would like a personal read with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. I have all kinds of good things going on. Check out the description box. But with the personal readings, we can do an angelic messaging reading where we'll tap into your guardian angels. I'll tap into your energy with your permission, of course, and see what messages are coming up. I can also tell you what archangels are around you and maybe want to work with you. We also have the option of doing an Akashic Records reading where we see what timelines, what expressions might still be influencing you now. Again, angelsouls444.com. Interesting, we're talking about angels. Ooh, because we have gold. <laughs> gold is very much associated with angels. So uh, it says attract abundance. The number is 21. Now, some of you might be sitting there going, really? <laughs> we have been trying to attract abundance. Where is it? The abundance comes by changing the way we think and feel about abundance for one, but also about the world around us. If we give into this narrative of, oh no, it's impossible to get a house now. Oh no, it's impossible to pay your bills. Oh no, I understand those fears 100%, but this is coming through and saying, yeah, but there's a higher narrative in charge here. And whatever you plug into is what will feed through you. Let me say that again. Whatever you plug into is what will feed through you. So if you plug into divine energy, that divinity is gonna be coming through you. Now in your ego consciousness, if you think that abundance looks like a big house, fancy car, all of that, and maybe your abundance shows up in the way of just being able to pay your bills and have an, an, an enjoyable day outside in nature, really relax, and you're going, yeah, but that's not abundance, that's not good enough. You're shutting out the universe's gifts. And that simply is not advised here, <laughs> okay? There's going to be abundance coming to those who are open to it. Sorry, I'm holding back a cough. <laughs> I really, mm, I just want to cough, but we're going to get through this. Um, <laughs> I keep trying to like swallow it away. Um, but if we shut down the way we think abundance, our blessings should look, um, like if it comes in, in simplicity and peacefulness and serenity and grace and harmony and all that, and we reject it, we're always going to be struggling. We're always going to be overlooking what's truly important. All right. So bear that in mind. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.